guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi, my name is Diana, and you're very welcome to check out my channel. If you end up liking it, go ahead and subscribe, and also click the notification bell on the side so that way you can say, eh, that way you can stay notified, sorry. <laughs> but anyways, for today's video, I will be doing a DIY. If anyone doesn't know what that means, it means do it yourself. All right, just to let you guys know, I am going to EDC Orlando in November. So I'm basically trying to get all my outfits together. So yeah, I am going to EDC Orlando in November. And if you're like me, who doesn't really want to spend a lot of money on outfits because you're only going to use them like once in a while. And so I was on websites that sell like festival rave outfits and stuff and i saw this one kimono from the lumi shop i looked at the price and i was like uh, i don't know about that <laughs> like their kimonos are very beautiful but like i don't really feel like spending that much money on a kimono i was almost going to buy it but then I remembered, I'm like, wait, I like doing DIY, so why don't I just make my own? And so, yeah, I'm here to show you guys how to make your own kimono on a budget. And it's not just an affordable way to, you know, have a kimono, but also it has your own personal touch. Nobody is going to have the same kimono as you. I just feel like DIYing stuff it's such like a very very like fun thing to do so yeah let's go ahead and start looking for stuff for my kimono and honestly i am gonna have three outfits because the because edc is for three days but i am going out of my comfort zone so i have already looked up at kimonos on amazon uh, there's one that's like for 23 dollars also, I saw these little butterfly patches. Hopefully they look good. <laughs> um, I am going to buy two sets because it comes in a pack of 12. So I'm going to buy two packs. Why did I say two sets? I could have just said packs. But anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that is all that I am going to buy from Amazon. And then the rest, I am going to go to like Hobby Lobby, um, Michaels. or If not, I am just going to look at other like you know crafting supply stores and so once those things arrive i am gonna see like you know how it looks what am i gonna add to it and yeah and later on we're gonna go to shopping to the stores to see what i can put on it <laughs> because i do have a vision i really have a vision and but i will show you guys later so you're just gonna watch the process while i do it so yeah so i went to hobby lobby today and i thought today was saturday it's actually sunday and you know hobby lobby is always closed on sundays so i came all the way over here to hobby lobby and it's closed and i was like dummy it's sunday <laughs> so now i'm on my way to michael's hopefully Hopefully they have rhinestones because that's what I'm looking for. Well, I, I, I mean, they'll obviously have rhinestones, but rhinestones that I like. All right, well, right now I am at Michael's. Oh my gosh, I need a lint roll my shirt. Let me look for a lint roller. Okay, how embarrassing. I can't find a lint roller, so I'm going to have to go with fur all over my shirt. This is so embarrassing, but anyways, I'm going to go inside. Hopefully they don't have any copyrighted music because if they do i'll just record with music playing over the video <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, so I couldn't find, well, I got some glue, but I couldn't find any, wait, is this for fabric? I just, yeah, it is. So I couldn't find any like um, rhinestones that I liked. And since there's a Dollar Tree right next to Michael's, I'm gonna see if they have any rhinestones because sometimes they do have rhinestones. And I'm trying to make this affordable as possible for you guys for anyone that's like on a tight budget and you know because EDC is very expensive and well by what I heard I've never been to EDC this is my first time so we're gonna go to Dollar Tree to see if there's hope so I couldn't find anything at Dollar Tree I don't know if Target has some rhinestones I'll check Target and then get back with you well I couldn't find anything in Target <laughs> Which I kind of knew that, not really, but we're going to try Walmart now. We need to have faith to make this as affordable as we can, okay? <laughs> I'm on a mission, or we're on a mission, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so these are the ones that I ended up buying at Walmart. They had some gems and I was looking for these type but also I'm looking for like a baby blue ones all right you guys so I have the stuff here that I ordered um, it's weird how this one didn't come in like a you know Amazon type of envelope or baggie or whatever it came like in a just in a regular bag all right, so I'm gonna open this, which is the cardigan that I got, or kimono, or whatever it is. I felt like this one was more see-through than the other one I was gonna buy, and then apparently the fabric on this one was really good, so I was like, all right, let's see. And the brand is the Bell Lovin'? Bell? 11. I expected it to be a little longer, not gonna lie, but it looks good quality. Like, it, there's nothing ripped or damaged that I see. It's actually pretty nice. Um, now, the next one is the butterflies that I ordered. So, I did see them and they look really nice because I got these like yesterday. And then the cardigan thing came in today just now like a couple minutes ago before I started filming this <laughs> these butterflies are really pretty very nice they're like very nice and they're like 3d type so these are gonna go somewhere on here the fabric is actually like vibrant i thought it was gonna be more like a baby blue color but it's actually like a turquoise color which it's not bad but it will make the butterflies stand out which i kind of like so i am gonna try this on to see how this fits i am just gonna wear a different shirt so that way i can have an idea how it's gonna fit okay so this is the cardigan that i got it looks really nice. Obviously, this isn't what I'm gonna wear under it. This is just like a little cover up whenever I just feel like, you know, covering up. But anyways, um, I'm actually gonna pinpoint where I want the butterflies. I don't even, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna put any in the front to be honest, or I don't even know. I'm probably going to put some, oh my gosh, they're kind of sticking, but I don't know where to put these, but oh my god, look how cute that looks. Since I already have it mapped out, I'm just thinking of sewing the butterflies a little because I do not have pins. And then this is the only blue color of string I have, but I'm just going to pin them there for now. So I guess string, that's the color of this. And now I'm just going to sew these a couple times probably just two times because it's just to just pin everything i'm not very good at sewing so <laughs> so i'm just kind of going with the flow <laughs> okay 
Okay, you guys, so the back is mapped out. Look at that! Oh, it looks so good! Now I just need the front. I need to map out the front. But, oh my gosh. Look at that! Okay, so I did not know where to hang it, so I hung it on the door. But I am going to add some butterflies to the front. Alright, well, I already mapped out the butterflies in the front. I just wanted a few butterflies in the front. I didn't want a lot because there is going to be some fuzzy stuff going on the edge here. So I just didn't want it to look too much in the front. I do have like four butterflies left, which I am going to end up putting these like on the sleeve or something. Um, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see after I sew these butterflies onto the cardigan. <laughs> okay, so I am going to be showing you the stuff that I bought at the store. So the first things first, um, I did buy some string, string, thread, whatever it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna say or put how much this string costs because it just depends. There are so many options everywhere, so everything had different prices. So, um, but if you know someone that's very like, into sewing or stuff or has like a collection of these things then you can like probably ask them if you know you could borrow some thread because me personally i don't know anybody in the area where i live at so i can't really ask <laughs> so this was closest to the embroidery of the butterfly um i couldn't find the exact same color but this was close enough and so moving on is to rhinestones and gems i got these gems at walmart and i'm going to take them out of the packaging just so i can show you guys how sparkly they are i wanted to find something that was like this type you know like the rainbow effect type anyways these were three dollars and 22 cents and this one is very optional. I just decided to buy a box of gems. But you could buy some that's just one single color, color of your choice. But I decided to buy a box full of different colors. Just because I'm going to be doing more DIYs in the future. So I just decided to buy a box of these. And I got this box at Hobby Lobby. It was $12.99. It has all greens, pinks. It has some blues purples, brown tones, it has, and then it has some um, clear with like a, a rainbowy effect and then blacks and stuff and all these top ones have like a rainbow effect. All of these, all of these down here, they just have like a normal color. <laughs> but there is another box that's cheaper. It's not exactly like this box, but it's like a squared, it's like a cube looking um, like like very plasticky box and it's full of gemstones i don't know if i can show you guys but whenever i find it i'll put a picture right here those were about six bucks so it was more affordable than this box and then what i also got at hobby lobby was these feathers <coughs> i don't know why it feels like the feather just went in my throat but yeah i also bought these feathers at Hobby Lobby, they were $3.99 each and I bought two of them. I am gonna put these on the edge of the, um, what is it called again? Cardigan? Or whatever it is. <laughs> well, the memory card on my camera got full. I need to start buying more um, memory cards cause, because if I'm gonna be doing content like this, I need to have some space. So all the stuff that I just bought, including the cardigan, kimono, whatever it is, um, and the butterfly patch, it all added up to fifty-eight to $58.14, which is half of the price of the kimono that I wanted. But even though the other one looked better, it was really pricey and I wasn't thinking of spending a lot of money but you know what i love being crafty i love being creative so i just think that it's funner making your own stuff and then making it 
unique and making it all about you. I'm also gonna be showing you guys how I am gonna sew on the butterfly patches. I'm not very good at sewing, so <laughs> don't judge me. I'm not an expert. I don't know how to sew. My mom would always try to teach me how to sew, but like I'm always like, Ugh, I don't wanna do that stuff. That's like old lady stuff. But my mama was right because she said once I move out, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that I should have paid attention to whenever she was teaching me, which she is right. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> but you know what? It's it's kind of fun to struggle sometimes. But yeah, but anyways, let's go to the clip of me sewing the butterflies onto my outfit. Mm -hmm. 